Hi guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a little bit of a different video. I've actually been getting a lot of requests to make this video in the comments. And since we had some work happening on the house this week and I wasn't able to film my normal ship with me video, I figured there's no better time than now. So I've had a lot of people asking for tips on going to the bins, like how do I source? How do I find the gems? And I kind of sat and thought about it and I boiled it down to like a couple do's and don'ts. So today I'm going to walk you through my top 10 do's and don'ts for shopping at the bins. So whether you're ramping up to go to the bins for the first time or you've been there 50 times, these are just some great, no nonsense, practical tips that'll help you make sure that you are maximizing your time at the bins and not being completely overwhelmed. But before we get started, guys, if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome. I'm Julia. That is my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If that sounds like something that you are into, consider hitting subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. But without further ado, guys, we've got lots to get through. So go grab yourself a notepad and let's get into the tips. So my first do is do bring a tote. Now, every bins location and every thrift outlet is different and more on that in a minute. But for the most part, a lot of locations do not allow you to bring your cart into the bins. You usually have to keep it kind of off to the side where you can put your stuff in between table changes. So unless you are somebody that likes to throw things over your shoulders, which I don't because things fall off of my shoulders all the time because I'm constantly in motion, I bring a tote. So I like to use those big blue Ikea totes. I'll have a picture of it right here. You can get them at Ikea. I want to say they're like two or three dollars, like two fifty dollars or two ninety five. dollars Super inexpensive. If you don't have an Ikea near you, you can get them on Amazon. I want to say they're like five or six dollars on Amazon. I'll link some down below. But either way, if you've got some sitting around your house, if you've got an Ikea nearby, they're always like right by the registers. Go and pick some up and bring those with you to the bins. And a hot tip when it comes to that is that because those totes, when they are empty, they are big and lightweight, they can be a little unwieldy, like they're gonna get caught on things, they're gonna slip off your shoulders, whatever. One of the things that I do when I first get to the bins is I will just walk to the closest bin and pick up two or three pieces of clothes, doesn't matter what they are, and I'll just throw them in the bag just to get a little weight in the bag. That'll keep it under control. I'll be able to keep it under my arm. Just make sure you remember to put those random pieces of clothes back before you check out. And my first don't here is don't forget cash. Now most Goodwill bins locations will take card, but anything can happen. The credit card machine can go down. Maybe you're not going to a Goodwill bins locations, but you're going to like a family thrift outlet. You're going to another one of the thrift outlets that exist out there. Not all of them take cash. So just in case, just in case, slip 40 or 50 bucks in your wallet just in case you need to use it. The last thing you wanna do is to spend hours sourcing, going through things at the bins to get to check out and figure out that you're not able to check out because you don't have cash for whatever reason. Just have a little bit of cash on hand just in case. So my number two do is stretch, limber up. Guys, going to the bins, going to a thrift outlet is a pretty physical experience. You are going to be bent over a bin for hours at a time. You're gonna be picking up clothes. You're gonna be hauling a heavy bag. It's, it's a physical experience. So make sure you stretch out your shoulders, you limber up, you, you're not going in cold. You're gonna to wanna to do that before and after the bins trip. Again, just remember, this is not like a leisurely, <laughs> this is not a leisurely shopping experience. This is physical. So make sure you treat your body as if it's about to get a workout, cause you're about to get a workout. My number two don't is don't go if you don't feel like going. Again, this is a pretty grueling shopping experience. And if you're going in with like the wrong mindset, if you are not up for thrifting, you're not gonna have a good time at the bins. It's very crowded. People are kind of all over. It is it is a long process. Like you're not gonna go to the bins and just like find 50 great things to sell within the first 20 minutes. Don't go if you don't feel like going. Most bins locations are open seven days a week. Check out the hours while you're there. If you don't feel like going, don't go. You're not gonna have a good time and you're gonna be miserable the whole time. It's a little bit too much of a demanding experience for you to go when you just don't wanna go. The bins will be there tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep, hydrate today, eat some good food, come back the next day with a better appetite for shopping. My number three do 
is to wear closed-toed shoes, especially your first time. Now, once you get a gauge of what your local bins location is like, you may choose to wear open-toed shoes. I for sure wear Birkenstocks from time to time, but I also know the locations around me and I know that I'll be pretty safe. Not everywhere is like that, especially if you're in a bins location that does allow carts in between the bins. The chances of you getting your tootsies rolled over is pretty high. So wear closed-toed shoes at the very least the first time you go. My number three don't is don't be intimidated. Guys, everybody goes to the bins for a first time. Everybody. Now, yes, you are going to walk in and there are gonna be people that look like they have been going forever, they're professionals, whatever. I promise you, you will ramp up so quickly and you will figure out the rules of the game in your particular bins locations, but don't be intimidated. A lot of bins locations have, you know, a colorful cast of characters, right? You're gonna have resellers. You're gonna have bins bros looking for those vintage t-shirts. You're gonna have vintage hunters. You're gonna have treasure hunters. But for the most part, like, everybody's just minding their own business. So don't be intimidated. You know, of course, everybody's gonna be a little scared walking into a situation the first time and that's okay, but don't be intimidated. For the most part, everybody at the bins is pretty cool. So my number four do is do bring headphones. Now, a lot of bins locations and a lot of thrift outlet locations will play music, but it's not always the music you wanna to listen to. I like to show up with a couple episodes of like a podcast downloaded or an audiobook downloaded. And those kind of things just help me like zone out and really just focus on what I'm doing and make that time pass really quickly. So do bring headphones and make sure they're charged up before you go if you have wireless headphones. I cannot stress that enough. My number four don't is don't forget gloves. Now I'm saying this with a caveat because there are a lot of people, me included, I do not like to wear gloves, but I totally understand why people do like to wear gloves. So have them with you just in case. I always have a pair of gloves, despite the fact that I almost never wear them because for me, I like to feel like that's kind of how I sniff out good quality. Like I will feel all the fabrics. So I can't do that if I'm wearing gloves, but I always have at least a pair of latex gloves in my car in case it's one of those days where I just would rather not be touching things. So always have them on hand. You know, it's up. It's a matter of preference whether you want to wear them or not, but I always recommend that you have a pair on hand. You know, if you go and you think you're going to be somebody who just wants to feel all the fabrics and, and that's how you want to do it, that's great. You don't know, especially if this is your first time, you don't know if you're going to get there and you're going to skeeve it and you want those gloves. So just have them handy just in case. My number five do. So now we're getting to the bins. The first thing I want you to do, especially if this is your first time going, is take some time when you first walk in the door. There's always a board somewhere near the entrance that's going to have the rules for that particular bins location. For example, I'm in the Southern California area. So one of the bins locations that I go to allows you to bring the carts through the bins. And the other one that I regularly go to doesn't do that. So I wouldn't know that if I didn't read the rules. So take your time and read the rules. If you have a question that is not answered by that rule board, do not hesitate to ask one of the people that work there. Trust me, they would rather you ask than just do and kind of mess up the system if it's something that is against the rules in that particular location. So take some time when you first walk in, read that board. It's usually gonna have the price per item. So for example, a lot of places will be like clothing is, $2.50 a pound and then like hard goods, so they call it the hard line, hard goods will be a dollar a night or whatever the case may be. If you read that board, it's going to tell you the score in the particular location that you're in. So take a minute or two and read that as soon as you walk in, especially if this is your first time. My number five don't is don't expect miracles. Don't expect miracles. You're not gonna walk in and like find an authentic Gucci piece within the first 30 minutes. That's just not how it works. I mean, if you do, great. Please let me know about it. You know I love to celebrate those kind of wins. But for the most part, it's a 99.999% chance that you're not gonna walk in and find that absolute grail in your first five minutes at the bins. So go with a healthy expectation. You know, if you watch any of my bins hauls, I will regularly come home with somewhere between like 30 and 50 pieces. And to be sure to find those 30 to 50 pieces, I've got my hands on probably two to 3,000 pieces in the course of the time that I spend at the bins. Don't expect that you're gonna find 
absolute treasure after treasure after treasure. If you're finding one great piece per bin, per table change, that's a good day. Just go with like a realistic expectation of what sifting through the bins means. It doesn't mean that you're sifting through hundreds of Lululemon pieces. You're sifting through a lot of Shein clothes, a lot of Amazon clothes, and you know, eventually you'll find those great pieces, but just again, manage your expectations in terms of what you're gonna find. You will find gems. You just have to dig for them. My number six do is listen up. So when I mentioned that you should bring headphones, I always recommend, especially if this is, if you are new to the game, I still do this all the time because I always want to be aware of what's happening around me, is I only wear one earbud. I always, like I can focus on what's going on in that earbud. I can 100% focus on this. But if I hear somebody that works there telling us something to do, they're gonna do a table change, you know, whatever the case may be, I wanna be able to hear it all the time. So listen up and listen to the people that work there. Now, most bins locations and most thrift outlet locations are pretty good about putting the loudest employee on making kind of overall announcements, but you never know. Sometimes you're gonna get somebody that's a little bit softer spoken and you wanna make sure that you are following, you know, the instructions that they're giving you. So make sure you're listening up and if you're wearing headphones, you know, keep, keep one ear at least semi open. If you're wearing over ears, just slide it back a little bit so outside noise can get in. My number six don't is don't bring a purse. Don't bring a purse. First and foremost, you are going to be standing and digging through bins for hours on end. You do not want something like swinging from your shoulders, hitting people, you know, especially a big purse. I see people come in and it must be their first time all the time with like a double strap tote that is going to be so uncomfortable within 30 minutes. If you must bring a bag, and I understand people need medications, there are, you know, things that you need, you know, invest in a little crossbody bag, a little uh, like a bum bag that you can wear kind of across the chest. That stays really close to your chest. It doesn't swing everywhere and it keeps things close to you, which I prefer in a very busy crowded location like that. But if you can swing it, don't even bring one, like use your pockets if you're wearing jeans, but either or don't bring a big purse. Get something really practical, really close to the body and, uh, and relatively small, just keep the necessities with you. My number seven do is keep digging. Keep digging. If you are going through a bin and you find a really great piece, dig around that piece. It's not all the time, but sometimes bins locations and thrift outlet locations will get what they call raw donations. So for the most part, when things are coming through the Goodwill outlet system, they have gone through a Goodwill store, they've sat on the racks for X amount of time and they didn't sell, so now they're going to the outlet. This is, you know, they call it the last chance outlet. But on occasion, if people donate directly to the bins location, they will just put that donation right in. And I cannot tell you how many times I have found raw donations full of Bolo brands and they're all from this, you know, you can tell that they're all from the same person because number one, they're all gonna be right next to each other and they're all gonna be the same size. So I always say, if you find something great, look closely around it. If you find a second thing that's great, I want you to check every single piece in that bin. The amount of stuff that I have found either at the bottom of a bin or like on a bin that was about to be rolled out to like the ether. Yeah, like I have found such great things because they're at the bottom of the bins. So take your time and dig through. Somebody like me, I tend to source for both vintage and like women's contemporary stuff. I take my time and I go through every piece and it's paid off multiple times, but keep digging, especially if you find two good pieces in one bin. Look at every single piece in that bin. So my number seven don't is don't hesitate to leave. If you are feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling like it's too crowded, if you're feeling like jittery, leave. It's okay. I always recommend, especially if you're just starting to go, like each and every location has kind of different ebbs and flows in how crowded it is. If you can avoid weekends, avoid weekends. Those are of course gonna be the most crowded days. If there is like a national holiday and schools are gonna be out, understand that there's usually gonna be a lot of teenagers there. So if you are feeling like it's too much, go home. I mean, it's, you don't have to stay. Don't feel like you're forced to stay. Come back another time. See if it's a little bit less crowded. But if you are somebody who doesn't do well with crowds, 
Number one, you need to be realistic about what a trip to the bins is going to entail. It's going to be crowded, there's gonna be people around you, it's gonna be a little bit of a frenzy when they roll out new bins, but if you're fine with that, great, but if you feel yourself starting to get overwhelmed, leave and don't hesitate to leave. I am the kind of person that I like to go. I've found kind of little windows in my favorite bins locations where it's a little bit less crowded. So that's when I tend to go. And if I get to the point where it feels like it's getting a little too crowded or it's getting a little too frenzied, I am out. I do not hesitate. I am here to protect my peace. So I am there. If I feel like it's too much, I leave. I urge you to do the same. You can always go back another day. You can find a time during the week that's a little bit less crowded. Even if you can only go on nights and weekends, look at that like Wednesday night or Thursday night, or maybe you can go early in the morning. So look at that like early Thursday morning, whatever it is, there will be a lull at your local location. So see if you can figure out when that is, especially if you are somebody that can easily get a little bit overwhelmed with crowds like me my next do is do stay hydrated drink lots of water before you go if you feel comfortable with having water in the bins location with you you know keep like a nice water bottle with a closed lid on it usually these locations are kind of warehousey right like don't go in necessarily expecting a goodwill store or a thrift store a lot of the times these are warehouses where they're moving pallets in and out they've got trucks coming in and out and a lot of times you'll just have the bay doors open so you are often exposed to the elements so if you're going in the middle of summer it can get very hot in there and like hydration rules apply. So make sure that you are drinking lots of water before you go. You have water in the car for you to drink once you get back in the car. And if you're comfortable with it, bring the water along with you and keep it in your cart and have a sip or two. Either or, stay hydrated. Rules for life, stay hydrated. My number eight don't is don't block somebody's hustle. Listen, everybody's at the bins for a different reason. Maybe they are a reseller like me, maybe they are a vintage hunter, maybe they are a treasure hunter, maybe they are looking for those vintage t-shirts and sweatshirts. And the thing is, while you might miss out on one treasure, there are lots of treasures to go around. Your trip to the bins is not going to depend on whether or not you find one specific piece. It's gonna be many pieces over a span of time. So just like, don't block somebody's hustle, right? We're all there, we're all doing our thing, you know, every whatever their reason for being at the bins is, you know, it's personal just like your reason for being at the bins is. So don't get in the way of somebody's hustle. Like it's not one piece, it's many pieces. There is plenty to go around. So you wouldn't like somebody to block your hustle, so don't block somebody else's hustle. My number nine do is do quality check your pieces. So before you check out, I want you to take a look at every single piece that you've picked. Whether you do this right before you check out or you're doing it all throughout the day, look it over for stains, look it over for tears. I want you to hold any kind of sweater up to a window or a light source to check it for moth holes. And like, listen, damage is gonna get through the filter. It happens from time to time. It happens to me all the time. Just donate it back. But either way, the last thing I want you doing is throwing money away. And if you are picking something up that's damaged and unsellable, that's throwing money away. So take the time, take 20, 30 minutes at the end if you don't wanna do it throughout the day and you would just wanna hunt the whole time. Take 20, 30 minutes at the end and go through every single piece that you're about to pick up and do a quality check. It, it's so important to protect your bottom line and it doesn't take that much effort. My number nine don't, don't bring food. Guys, do not bring food to the bins. It is not the cleanest of environment. You probably don't want to be eating food in that location. If you need to keep a stash of food, maybe in your car, like a protein bar or something, that's great. But make sure that before you go, if you are somebody who gets hungry easily, that you are eating something that is like protein packed before you go. Because chances are you're gonna be there for a couple hours and you don't want your stomach to start gurgling halfway through and to be tempted to have a couple chips. You probably don't wanna be eating anything with your hand after you've been digging through the bins. This also means make sure you have hand sanitizer handy either on you or in your car as soon as you get out of the bins. But don't bring food to the bins, guys. Just don't do it. And my number one do, guys, is have fun. Have fun. 
Hunting at the bins is supposed to be fun. Go in with a completely open mind, you know, don't go hunting for something specific. Chances are you're not gonna find it. Go with an open mind. The bins will show you what treasures they want you to have that day. So go in, have fun, revel in the treasures that you find, you know, like don't ever feel weird about having a little celebration. I do it all the time. I'll see something in the bins, I'll pick it up and I'll do a little happy dance. Like have fun guys. It is a fun thing that we do. Have a good time. That's the most important thing. And my number 10 don't is don't be a jerk. Words to live by, right? Don't be a jerk. The people that work there work very hard, often in pretty harsh conditions. It can be very hot in there. It can be very cold in there. They're dealing with people who are, you know, very aggressive. They're dealing with people that want to break the rules. They're dealing with all kinds of stuff. Don't be a jerk. Just be kind, follow the rules, be kind to your fellow thrifters. If somebody else has something in their hand, don't touch it. Don't try to grab it out of their hands. It's theirs until they release it. Don't be a jerk. Plain and simple. Just again, words to live by. Don't be a jerk. But that is it guys. That is my top 10 do's and don'ts for going to the bins, whether you're going for your first time or your 50th. Hopefully these little tips will help you make sure that you have a great successful trip to the bins and that you're maximizing your time while you are there. So I hope these were helpful for you. If they were, consider leaving a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. They both help me out so much with YouTube. But, but without further ado, guys, have the most amazing weekend. If you are going to the bins, let me know down below. If you are going to the bins for the first time, let me know down below. Happy hunting, and I will see you in the next one.